Hey everyone, this is Sam and welcome to my Ghost of Tsushima Legends class build tutorial. So today I'm going to show you guys what I call the Ronin Medic Bomber build. Ronin is the only class in the game that can heal and revive multiple teammates, so it is essentially a healer and you feel like you might have to be passive, but that's not true. Our Medic Bomber Ronin build can do much more than just heal. This build uses a combination of free bomb types to crowd control or do high damage to large groups. It also has a variety of buffs and debuffs to benefit his teammates in any kind of fight and also to ensure cell survival. No matter what type of game mode you are in, 2 story, 4 player survival, this Ronan Medic Bomber build is absolutely crucial to winning any fight. I mean, if you have this in hand, it will make you the MVP of any enemy encounter. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe for more Ghost of Tsushima tutorials all year. Also, you can click on the card above or check out the link in the description below to see my all Ghost of Tsushima tutorials playlist so you can see all of the previous build videos I have made and also catch up on future ones. So first things first, the essential technique of this build is the Breath of Izanami which allows you to revive any downed allies even if they are across the map. But you want to further complement that skill by getting Fire Breath uh, by rank 11 so that when you do revive your allies, the enemies around them will also catch on fire. So with this ultimate in hand, as long as I'm alive, I can bring back all my teammates to life as they go down and when I bring them back, as you see, the enemies catch us on fire. So that is an absolutely game-changing ability and that is why if you're using the Ronin, you must have free resolve points available at all times just in case a teammate goes down. But yes, you only need to keep free, so the rest of the resolve points you can use to spam, weaken it. This technique allows you to weaken your enemies so they do 25% less damage but at the same time also take in 25% more damage making you and your teammates better at you know destroying the mobs. So make sure you get the technique resolve increased by rank 9 so that will give you 4 resolve points in total since each class comes with 3. But you're gonna get it up to 5 by getting a utility charm that makes sure it has the resolve increase buff and at the same time if you can try to get one with also that comes with resolve gain and as previously mentioned uh, make sure by rank 7 you get the weakening burst so it takes you one resolve to pretty much uh, weaken your enemies by a quarter on offense and defense and the next ingredient you want to add to this Ronan medic build are bombs so you can see I am throwing uh, stunning bombs here to space out my enemies crowd control and at the same time give myself openings to either hit them or do the weakening effect to them so when they do hit me it does no damage and it makes them so very very easy to kill. So the synergy between your bomb packs are stun grenades and also going in the weakening or also opening is absolutely devastating. But you would feel like he's not doing a lot of damage but that's why we add in the next bomb, the sticky bomb. So with the stunning bombs and the sticky bombs, you can see here with the huge fire effect and the huge radius, you're gonna have kind of a crowd control passive kind of bomb and also this aggression high damage bomb. So make sure you get the bomb pack instead of using the bow and uh, make sure the bomb pack comes with either status, effect duration buff or huge blast radius. And the uh, sticky bomb, so ghost weapon 1, make sure it's one that lights people on fire and it also comes with a huge blast radius. So with those two bomb types in hand, now you're going to be very very difficult to deal with. And you can see here when everything is combined together, I'm using the bombs, I'm using the weakening. It really keeps me safe. Like I'm fighting about 10 guys here on my own as my team has went to a more uh, important point that they're about to lose. So I'm just holding this on my own as a Ronan who is a heal class. But this is the Ronan Magic Bomber. So I'm using all of my bombs and my weakening to the full effect to give myself the advantage to not only survive and to also pretty much win fights on my own. And when my team needs it, I will revive them, bring them all back to health, and light everybody around the revive teammate on fire. So that is an absolute two-way dominance by this build. And one-on-one, -on -one, just is not fair. Bomb, weaken, it's not it. So the last two uh, techniques or uh, gears you need, obviously you need the healing incense to heal yourself when needed, or also heal teammates when they need it. And for your ghost weapon number 2, make sure you get the self heal bottle. Uh, also, make sure it comes with a uh, strong brew, uh, cooldown reduction on kill, and damage reduction if possible. And in terms of your weapon, 
Uh, I like the Wind Katana, but really you can use anything that just gives you melee resolve game. So that's key. So with all of these duos combined, uh, it was taking some time to get used to throwing the bombs accurately, especially the bomb packs, the stun bombs, because you're not really throwing those at the guy, you're throwing that at an area so it you know covers as many enemies as possible. Because essentially you are using the bombs to either open opportunities for you to, you know, sword hit someone at a great spot or to damage them with the uh, weakening. But as you can see, when you're hurt, just heal yourself, so you always top yourself off so you can't go down. So if you would like to play with me, uh, once again, my PSN is right there, as you can see, uh, IC5 row 07. And uh, this was me using the uh, Red Ronan Medic Bomber build, and you can see I'm getting a variety of kills, and at the same time, I'm also healing and helping my team. So I highly recommend you to give this uh, Ronan Medic Bomber a try. Obviously for the gears and the skills and the perks and stuff, if you can't get them initially, you can just go to modification and just reroll until you get it. You don't need too many things specifically, but you do need some. But once you have it put together like this, honestly, you're kind of like the person on the team that controls everything. Like as long as you don't go down, the team can't lose and you have a lot of tools to ensure survival but at the same time any teammates who are around you are instantaneously better because they're gonna survive longer and they're gonna do more damage because of your bomb stunning crowd control and your weakening being able to you know constantly spam it uh, in two person story mode everything goes the same this is a footage of actually what i just figured out you know how to put this build together and this was my initial phase of getting comfortable at using it and you can see i'm doing the healing i'm doing the bombing but make sure you are fully committed to doing no matter what at the start of the fight to get up to free resolve and then once you get up to free resolve do not ever go lower than three but because you have a total of five you can just spam weakening whenever you feel like it so make sure you're always at full resolve but doing it weakening immediately so you get the free and then just keep that cycle going and you'll just be a very helpful teammate this was uh, initially very new for me when i was just learning how to perfect everything together and you can see i'm still very effective not as good as i was uh, in the earlier clips when i was much more familiar with the build but at the early phase this is how it is but you can see i have used the healing incense twice already and i'm just continuously helping my teammates shine but at the same time Putting in more damage and work you would expect from a Ronin, but you won't expect a Ronin to weaken as often and as consistently as the Medic Bomber build. Uh, one key aspect about this build, do not use your Fireball unless you have to. Because that's the, like right here I use it, but that's, this This is the weapon or whatever, the, the thing you use to save yourself or to just turn an entire fight. That Fireball? A lot of the time will destroy a ton of enemies but not only that it'll give you back a whole bunch of resolve instantaneously and stuns them so you can just hit everyone so make sure you don't use the firebomb unless you have to otherwise you won't maximize this build so as always i hope you guys enjoyed this and uh check this out give it a try let me know how it goes to you and i'll speak to you guys again very soon